Roman Deliza, the Caucasian, uh, fighting Loriano Staropoli. AJ, I need to give a little bit of context before we start this. Deliza is a minus 140 favorite, plus 120 comeback for Loriano Staropoli. AJ, I need to make sure that you know this before we start talking about this, because I felt one, one way about this fight until I did a little more digging, and then I was like, oh, okay, all right, this... This is going to be a, a little tough challenge for Staropoli. Delizze, right? He lost his last fight against Trevin Giles. Understandable. I called that one. I got that pick right because Trevin Giles is a beast in terms of the wrestling, in terms of Roman Delizze. That was his debut at 185 pounds. Prior, his entire career was spent at 205 pounds. This is the thing that I need to make sure you know, AJ. Delizze. A real 205er, a dude who didn't really cut much weight over there. Now he's saying, oh, I feel professional. I'm out 185. Uh, this is a dude who has ridiculous power at 185. It's ridiculous. It's not even fair. You know what I'm saying? Fighting a Loriano Staropoli who spent his entire career at 170. He's fighting at 185 because he missed weight in his last contest. Um, that's, that's the important caveat right there. You have a dude who is a natural 205 or probably weighing way more than that going into the fight versus a dude who is yeah you had to cut down to 170 not nearly as big aj did you know that i did i did yeah. notice that actually yeah and I, and uh if i'm not mistaken star poli missed weight by like six seven pounds so Something it was it was a pretty big place. yeah yeah it was a pretty big jump <laughs> Yeah, and that was against uh, Tim Means, you know what I mean? Tim, The Dirty Bird, he still took the fight, and uh, Tim Means got the job done. So that's very exciting, right? But at the end of the day, man, uh, like I said, that's just the biggest thing that stands out because not only that, let's look at the reach. Roman Delizze has a 76-inch reach in comparison to 71 inches for Staropoli. So my question was, first thing that I know off the bat is if you've watched Staropoli ever, a dude who was very hyped up not too long ago, this dude is the most unorthodox fighter that you will see. This dude throws a billion kicks from every single angle there is to throw a kick from. Um, the hands are aren't quite as nice but the man is game and the man is a warrior he is a fighter do you think that this man could last three rounds with roman de Lize, aj we need to have a serious conversation about this we, that's uh <laughs> that is the big question Derek. because if you're not only does he like throwing spinning stuff he likes it so much that it's probably his second most used feint besides yeah. like a, a, a jab feint like he literally throws his hips like he's gonna spin almost like literally almost every single fin it's crazy and to do that is gonna get you tired yeah you do any do that stepping up a weight class against an absolute killer like delize you you uh you said it before derek the ufc is the land of where streaks go to die while the ufc is also the land of deep water and that is not where you want to be found with delize they're swinging with you my man yeah, that's the, that's the question. Yeah, ultimately, man, this is this is the other part. Uh, what happened in, uh, I mean, Starpoli's last two fights? Where did he lose? On the ground, right? This dude doesn't have very much game on the ground. What is Roman Delize? He's a 2016 ADCC Asia Trials gold medalist at 218 pounds, man. If you don't know what ADCC is, it's the Abu Dhabi Combat Club. This dude is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu ace, man. Like, when he fought Trevin Giles, he had a Giles locked up in a bunch of different heel hooks. Now, Giles is very composed. He was able to work his way out of it. But a lot of dudes who don't have that experience probably would not with that being said um i think that star poli what i like about him is he's groovy baby he's kind of like lando man i love it you know he needs space to find his rhythm because when you're a if you're wonder boy thompson or you're any type of karate style fighter right what is the key to neutralizing them smother them so they can't get their kicks off right i think the leads a man he's gonna walk star poli down in my opinion he's the bigger man um, i think that the power is there i think the speed is definitely going to be there for star poli now that's where things are going to get interesting because because can he just outwork Delize, man? You know what I'm saying? Delize, we showed three rounds with all that muscle on you. You know what I'm saying? You get a little tired at the end of those, but so does Star Poli. Um, how do you see this fight taking, you know, taking place, though, man? Who has an edge just on paper, AJ? Uh, and not, I'm not talking about just, like, the power. We know Delize's big. I'm talking about skill set, all of that. You know what I mean? I, I mean, this one's hard. To, this one's another toss-up for me, Derek. This whole card is very, very hard because, man, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Delize as well as watching Star Poli, man. He's a good striker. Yeah. He has those fa fast, flashy strikes. He's going to come in from weird angles. He can knock you out at any point. He's really like a, like a fighter you want to see in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Like the dude on TV who's looking like, damn, that dude can scrap. Like, all right, but Delize is a real deal. That's the thing, man. Uh, I think, I think Delize... He might have the technical advantage, um, and I haven't, I haven't thought of this really fully out yet, but Delize, the only thing I saw really that he was lacking with in his last fight against Trevin Giles is he just, those muscles lost all the power. You know, he, he started building up yeah. some lactic acid, wasn't able. There was a one point where Trevor Giles was in a heel hook. He was either an inverted heel hook or a regular. I'm not exactly sure if it's knee bar, but he literally was just sitting in it like, all right, dog, I, this doesn't hurt. Like, I felt your pressure from the first time you did this, and now it's the fourth time, and it's, it's all right, cool, I'll just wait. So 
if, if Roman Delize can actually, you know, maintain that strength, I think he has a technical advantage. He's very solid on the ground. His striking is very, very crisp, very nice and smooth, point A to point B. Whereas Staropoli, he likes to throw that flash. And he, and we've seen it time and time again. People are going to throw hooks. And you can always beat him with a straight down the pipe. And that's exactly what the Lidze likes to do, man. Yeah, A to B. Who do you think? Who would you give it to? Yeah, yeah. Well, A to B is always the fastest method of transporting anything, right? So it's like, yeah, I'm always a big fan of the straight punches. But I'll tell you what, man. I actually am going to have to differ with you. I think Staropoli has a technical advantage in terms of like he can hit you with way more weapons than Delize can. And sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes that's a bad thing, right? Because sometimes fundamentals is what wins you championships. You know what I mean? We talk about Tim Duncan, right? The big fundamental. You know, sometimes that one, two and a nice leg kick might literally take you all the way. But for Staropoli, man, he, the unpredictability is the thing I really like about him. Now, if he was fighting somebody that was like his weight, <laughs> then I'd be like, all right, man, like this is a scary man. That's just, it's the tougher part for me. It's like, you're going to have to weather the storm early on, and then you're going to probably have to try to drown him in the deep waters. But there's no person, listen, I will I will eat all the crow in the world if it happens. There's just no way I can see Staropoli just like knocking Delize's lights out in round one or two, unless Delize just like walks into something, which he, he doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, Staropoli, the flashy striking, it does leave him there to be hit because when you're, when you're offensively unorthodox, often Sometimes you're defensively unorthodox and sometimes unorthodox is just a, a nice way of saying you lack the fundamentals you don't have the basics you know what i mean so with that being said man star is dynamic um but delizze man that leg kick he uses that leg kick to immobilize his opponents and if you take away the movement of star Poli, he's a sitting duck get him on the ground smash his face in knock him out whatever it is i think this is going to be a good fight but i think that reach advantage is going to be too much to uh to gap for star Poli. so with that being said aj um, I'm going to go Roman Delize on this one. And uh, I wrote these all down. I got, yeah, knockout round two, man. I think this is going to be another finish. I think Star Poli is just going to be too small. He's, he has the, the height, right? He's like, he's got the height, but I think he's too small, you know? Give me your pick, AJ. Yeah, I, I, uh, I definitely think he's going to come in a little undersized. But one thing I did note, man, he does have some dog in him. Oh, yeah. In that team means fight, he was he was coming back. He has some dog in him, so I think it's going to be a fun, fast paced fight. And I got to apologize, Derek. I think I let you know the wrong name earlier, but for my pick, I'm going to Lidze by decision, brother. I think it's going to be a good fight. I think the is going to drown him in some deep waters. I'm with you. I don't always like to agree with you, but I do think that is the right pick on that one, AJ. Just like I'm saying, man, sometimes in MMA, like there's weight classes for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he couldn't make, Star Poli couldn't make 170, but that doesn't necessarily mean you jump up 15 pounds. You know what I'm saying?